This week, we highlight another life well lived. Alice Clark was a 19-year-old college student and an usher at Chicago's old International Amphitheater when, in 1971, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus rolled into town. A few short months later, the teenager from the city's south side would become a historic member of that famed troupe. An aspiring dancer and performer, Clark was thrilled by the show that day and inquired about auditions for the circus. She had no experience and a terrible fear of heights, but her charisma won over Ringling Brothers aerial director Antoinette Concello, a legend known as the queen of the flying trapeze. Clark was hired, becoming the first black dancer and aerialist in the blue unit, one of Ringling Brothers' two shows. Throughout the early 1970s, Clark traveled the country by train, stopping to swing from the rafters, ride elephants, and dance under the big tent in the greatest show on earth. She once said of the job she loved, I felt like sometimes I should be paying the circus. After leaving Ringling Brothers, Clark returned to Chicago to become a jazz singer and a writer. She started a family with her husband, Jeff Brown, whom she met while working at a publishing house. They celebrated their 44th anniversary two days before her passing. Clark volunteered in Chicago for many years, and in 2004, fulfilled a promise she made to her mother when she left for the circus, earning her college degree at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Alice Clark Brown, an American pioneer flying through the air, died last month at home in Oak Park, Illinois. She was 68 years old. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.